We're here at Aero 2018, Friedrichshafen, Germany, the global show for light aviation in Europe, one of my favorites. We want to thank our sponsors, Bristol Aircraft USA and Aero Marine, LSA Aero Marine, for their help in making these videos possible. Today, I'm Dan Johnson talking with Radu Birchano. Yes. Not, not quite, but close. No, no, quite. Quite close? Okay. Sounds a little Italian, but you're actually from Romania, correct? Romania, yes. All right. And I've seen the swan here now for some years you've been exhibiting here at Aero. Three years or, already. Okay. And it caught my attention right away because I'm an old ultralight pilot, the small ultralights, single seaters. I love that kind of flying because it's very personal to me. So I, I applaud your work here. It looks very nice. How is it you can do such nice fiberglass work, Radu? I'm an aeronautical engineer and uh, uh, I have a company working in composite since uh, 25 years for many other uh, uh, industrial um, companies and uh, some four years ago I decided my uh, first love, Your passion, should, huh? my passion should have a, a corner in my activity and I start making this uh, airplanes, which are also in composite, mainly carbon and diramid and uh, things like that. So you already knew all these materials very well from very your well. other work. Sure. You work for some very big companies doing component parts for them, yes. you said. And so this is a natural thing for you to be able to do this. Sure. So in my experience, ultralight aircraft are often so simple and I like them, but they don't look this way. They don't look this clean and smooth and pretty. Yes, because um, uh, now we are uh, 2018, so uh, everything is in progress. And uh, because I have a lot of uh, people uh, uh, who want to close their craft, because they are old, they don't want all the insects uh, in their <laughs> eyes and uh, a, a large heavy clothing, heavy clothes, yeah. ca uh, things like that. I decide to, to make it uh, like oh, that. With close. the door. Now, and is it just a door on the other side, not on this side? We can put two doors. Oh, you can do both. Yes, yes. So, so the door opens up gullwing. Exactly. Okay. So, Very nice. Uh, and because of this, the aerodynamic of the... the it's, it's more uh, efficient. Sure. And uh, with a small uh, engine, we can reach uh, 135 uh, cruise speed. Oh, really? Kilometers. Kilometers, per okay. Wow, very good. So you have different power plants. On this one, I think we see the Polini, yes? This is the Polini 36 horsepower. Okay. But, uh, uh, for example, uh, to not overpass the American 103 regulation, we put the Polini 200. Ah. Because there is a there is a speed the maximum it speed can only there. go 55 knots exactly. full power yes. oh, exactly and on another aircraft over here you use a different engine yes because this one it's it's 103 in the United States uh, single seat deregulated in in in, in, in uh, Great in a, Britain in England yes in uh -huh. England and uh, 120 kilos in uh, Germany yes. In Germany, it's 120 kilos with the parachute, with the ballistic parachute. Ah, yes. And the ballistic parachute, it's 6.5 kilos oh, okay. with everything. So without this, uh, the aircraft will have uh, 114. Ah, I see. So okay. This, so this is the, the one. That one, it's the ultralight for the European regulation. Ah, okay. So that a higher mean, weight class. That means 300 kilos without parachute, maximum takeoff mass, or 315 with the parachute. Now last year, unfortunately I wasn't able to be here last year because we had an air show conflict, but you had a very attractive green airplane that didn't have this engine on it. Yes, uh, the, green, uh, the green one um, was an electric uh, ah. aircraft um, and um, with the two batteries uh, we had inside and uh, the electric engine, you can fly almost one hour if you do not do aerobatics, yeah, yeah. if you do, aero, you know, climbs and so on, your hour will be 40 minutes or 30 <laughs> minutes. <Okay. laughs> you will have a shorter hour. Well, this looks like this would glide pretty well, does it? Yes, because um, uh, the wing, um, everywhere it's, uh, it's, uh, it's carbon and the, the surface, it's a very thin layer of carbon 
uh, 80 grams per uh, square meter. There is a foam, two millimeters foam. Okay. And then another layer of carbon, and then the ribs and the main spar. And what and are those? Main, are those what are those made out of? Also carbon. Uh, the main spar is in carbon. Only the main spar. We have here a test. Uh, a photograph of a test. Okay. We put 1,000 kilo only to the main spar. Wow, 1,000 kilos. Yes. Okay, that's a lot of load on that yes, spar. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, very beautiful. So, so, so this, this is Kevlar because the seat, you know, um, should protect a little bit the the pilot ah. if there is a crash or something. Okay. And the the seat has the uh, the role to protect the back and everything of the pilot. It's it's a Kevlar special seat. Wow, very nice. Uh, what is the flight characteristics? The, Are they the, the easy or difficult? My, or? my idea was if there is a simple class should fly very very simple without a lot of uh, trims and everything. So the pilot is exactly in the, ah. in the center of gravity so if, we su if you switch from uh, let's say a girl uh, 50 kilos to a big uh, guy 120 kilos, you do not need to trim anything uh -huh. because it's there. And even the fuel is really almost on CG, very, yes. almost in the in the center of gravity. So here it's important where it's the pilot, where it's the fuel, where is the rescue parachute, and things like that. And I do not like uh, the the style with the engine behind because. The pusher engine works not so so. It so loses good. some efficiency with yes, air turbulence and, coming and, to and it. vibrations and noise and everything. So my idea was to have the the engine in the front. And for me, it's very easy because when I finish an aircraft, I am changing this, and ah. I make the. I do not put any any weight uh, to, to, to make the, uh, the balance. Yeah. No, I am changing a little bit the engine. If I switch a bigger engine like this with a smaller engine, the smaller engine goes like that. If there is a bigger engine, goes like that. And uh, I, I don't put any, any counterbalance weight. All right, great. A, a lot of wonderful thinking you've done in this airplane, Radu. How many, how many Swan airplanes do you have flying now? Uh, uh, now they, they fly 11. 11 of them, okay. 11 of them. One is electric, a 12th one. Uh, I have two. The prototype and uh, uh, the prototype has almost 300 hours. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So it's quite well proven then. Yeah. yeah okay, yeah. great. In Germany they, they, uh, uh, they are seven and we have orders till uh, next uh, show. You said an interesting phrase when I talked to you before we started this video. You said that you like affordable, foldable airplanes. This now, is my this is my logo. This is your affordable, logo. Affordable, foldable airplanes. Well, I like both of those phrases. I love affordable airplanes and foldable is always good. But your foldable is different than many because your whole tail folds forward. Yes. Yes, yes. It hinges forward and you have a trailer back over here. Yes. That looks like it's about big enough to maybe put two motorcycles in. Probably. But that's about all. That the, doesn't look nearly long enough for an airplane. The the trailer is three meter and a half. Okay. Long. That's so you can use for different it's other only, purposes. Uh, less than twelve feet. That's not exactly. very long. Yeah. Less than twelve feet. Yeah. But all the aircraft was designed for the beginning to be uh, dismantled and put it in that trailer. Beautiful. From the beginning. So now you should unscrew eight screws. Eight screws, okay. Eight screws and you, it will be there. For me, for example... And some of those eight screws include the wings? The wings, everything. Wow. One, one wing, it's one screw here. Ah, okay. Only one screw. This is... Beautiful. One screw and the wing is 12.5 kilos. Oh, one. Okay. You can take it, put it by there yourself. by yourself. No problem. No, no problem. This is a single seater. As I said at the beginning, Radu, I like single seaters. For me, this is wonderful flying. But sometimes you want to bring somebody else with you, or maybe you just have to have a way for flight instruction. So over the top of this airplane, there's another all carbon fiber airplane with yes. two seats in it. 
Yes, because a lot of people ask me, uh, yes, but my wife, um, uh, the, uh, <laughs> maybe you will uh, think about uh, uh, double seat. So I start a double seat, it's under construction, we will finish uh, this autumn, we will make the first flights and probably next year he will be ready uh, here in Friedrichshafen, but we, we put it in the exhibition because we wanted to, uh, to show to the people what we intend to do. Beautiful. Okay, Roddy, that's a lot of wonderful information. I wish you all good success with the new project. I love the one you have today. Looks very nice. Thank you for talking to Thank us. Thank you. I think I asked you many questions, but people always have some more. Sure. Where can we send them on the web to find more information about uh, SWAR? For the moment, uh, uh, the web uh, was the, the Modern Wings web, which is the German Ah, that's reseller. your German dealer, okay. But we will make, uh, because a lot of people is asking, we will make our uh, website uh, in Avi company uh, to show to everybody and uh, for the news and uh, things like that, connections and so on. Okay, good. But give us the web address today exactly. and then as you change it, they'll still find the right thing they want. So what is your web address? The web address will be uh, avi, uh, dot. R.O. R.O. Romania. For, for Romania. So, very good. I've written about the swan before, including the electric I didn't even see last year. Somebody else helped me prepare that story. You can find more about swan and all kinds of affordable aircraft. Not all affordable foldable, but lots of affordable aircraft on bydanjohnson.com. Thanks for joining. Radu Thank you. Berchon, Berchano. Berchano. And myself here at Aero 2018.